I like to twist the wires to keep them clean and twisted wires will also reduce uh, electromagnetic uh, interference. So to make your wires look nice, you can use this uh, braided, flexible, uh, expandable wire sheathing stuff. A little bit of a pain to get on there, but it certainly makes it look nice. I want it to kind of, I hooked them together to kind of pull it away from the rail so the tube doesn't get stuck over here. I finally got my little heat sinks to go on these uh, stepper drivers. So these are the in stops. I did drill these holes out a little bit, but the, the screws are actually threaded into the plastic. There's no nut on the back, so um, I'm definitely warming these up so I don't uh, accidentally crack them. As it turns out, it's kind of handy to put the uh, little M3 times 8 millimeters in first. Get this nut on there so it doesn't fall out. Otherwise, it's a little hard to get it past that. The M2.5 by 16 stuck out just a little bit, so I ground them off so they'd be flush. And these are going to go in like this. <clears throat> you want to go from, there's a C on here for common, NO for normally open, and this is number 22 Belden that I stripped I had laying around. Heat shrink tubing. I'll try to clean up these wires. I'll put them in the track here. I'm trying to hide these wires, so I actually pulled it down through a little hole here. The micro switch for the auto level probe. Um, there's not much room, so I cut the tabs off. This time we're going to normally closed instead of normally open.
So this in stop wire comes down the channel and down back up. I'm gonna mount my ramps here. Okay, on my stepper there's two coils and they're actually in order here. The stepper will turn freely and then you short it one of the coils and it's real hard to turn. And the other one you short it, it's hard to turn. So I'm gonna just maintain the exact same order and you know we'll extend the wires and then use some of these header pins. I'll cut off four and solder it. And if the motor turns the wrong way, you just flip the connector as it plugs into the, the ramps board. For power, I'm going to use an ATX power supply. So I'm going to actually raid these wires for the uh, stepper motors. Pin spacing on these header female header pins are 2.5 millimeters. Make sure the colors match up. It's a pretty slick trick. Makes it look nice. I made some little uh, clips to hold the uh, stepper motor wires. Just gonna get it in here. All right, so we have X, Y, Z uh, stepper motors. This little guy in here is the thermistor on the hot end. X, Y, and Z in stops. And then in here is the auto level probe. 
These are the heater wires for the in, the hot end. These wires I'm using for um, the fan. I don't have it attached. Of course, we've got power here. I'm getting in here and getting some extra power for the fan, and also I am using a potentiometer, a 1K potentiometer, to adjust some LED lights to light my print 